you know, all of America should watch what's happening in Venezuela. I was just there two weeks ago along the border with other members. And there's about 50,000 people a day who pass over that border to Colombia to buy the essentials from milk to toilet paper. But you know what they, I sat there and interviewed with them? They don't have electricity. The hospitals don't have electricity. They don't have running water. Babies are born and being put in cardboard boxes. I watched one picture where a doctor was performing a procedure and had no electricity, so they used their iPhone with the light on that to try to perform the operation. And this is what's scary because 20 years ago, Venezuela was the jewel of Latin America. It was well the said. socialist policies that promised you free health care, promised you free education. Well, this is what you've gotten. This is the Bernie Sanders, the AOC well, of the policies that are moving forward. You, you mean that's kind of like what uh, about 100 House and Senate members and a lot of Medicare the 2020 candidates you know, I know Medicare for all sounds great, education, daycare, pre-K, kindergarten through college, everything's free, 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 even government guaranteed healthy food and a job and a vacation, I hope, in Hawaii if we're going to have it free. Um, and whether you're willing or unwilling to work, and then we'll get rid of the lifeline of our economy, oil and gas and the combustion engine and planes and cows. That part yeah. worries me. You had Venezuela that could produce oil. And what did, what did Hugo Chavez do? He took the company over from the government, and now it has failed. He took everything over from the government. The exact same thing that Bernie Sanders is asking for, Medicare for all. But not just Bernie. The majority of the Democrats have co-sponsored this. They want to remove 150 million Americans, their health care. Anybody who's on Medicare Advantage, gone.